Hi everyone, I saw a really fun card on Julie Kettlewell's YouTube video it was recently and I decided to case it. So she used the Art Gallery Designer Series paper uh, with the Just Wanted to Say dies with that. But I decided to have a go with um, this Designer Series paper and also the foil sheets that go with it, which if I remember rightly is called the Love Always, I think it's called. It's called the Love You Always Foil Sheets I Cut the Butterflies Out With and it's the Love You Always, uh, the paper is called Love You Always Speciality Designer Series Paper. So this is Sahara Sand, the background, which I've embossed with a painted texture embossing folder and this ribbon has sadly retired and the sentiment is from the Art Gallery stamp set. So that's the first one I made and then the next one was with a Pampered Pets bundle. I cut the dog out with a die, fussy cut that one, and with the paper that goes with it. And this sentiment is from the Simply Succulent stamp set. And this is the textured embossing folder for the base card, which is real red. And then I did another butterfly one. I uh, did these two in my team meeting this morning uh, for my demonstrator team. Uh, this one's in Highland Heather using the Hydrangea Designer Series paper, Hydrangea Hill it's called white crinkled seam binding ribbon. I actually, this is silver foil um, card sheet that we, it's now retired and I think they've sold out. And then I took some and I coloured it with a Highland Heather blends pen to get the purple one here. So, and this is the um, ornate garden um, embossing folder. So I decided I'd show you one. This is the brick wall embossing folder, which is actually carrying over, I think, to the next catalogue. And I'm using the Snail Mail Designer Series paper for this one. So you need to cut yourself uh, six squares of complementary, I shall say, Designer Series paper. And they are one and three eighths by one and three eighths. The base that you're going to put them on is four and five eighths by three and one eighths. And you basically take your Tombow and eyeball it. So I just love this snail designer seri series paper. It's just really fun because you can make cards so easily with it um, without the stamps and the dies, actually. I know a lot of people, it's been very, the stamps and dies have been very popular and people have been having a lot of fun with them. Um, but it's amazing to think that you can make cards with some of Stamping Up's materials without actually getting the dies or the stamps. So... I focused on other bundles and stamp sets. So just putting these together. So this is Daffodil Delight, a little bit of Bermuda Bay. This is real red with some, I think it's petal pink. Um, and then you've got some pool party there as well. And obviously you've got the white as well. So I'll just stick this one here. And the next thing you need to do when you've stuck on your squares of designer series paper, and this is a great way for my ladies with paper shares, this is a great way of using the designer series paper from your paper share. Now I've got here some in colour ribbon. Now this is Bumblebee. Um, sadly this is retiring, this ribbon. It's absolutely beautiful and it ties. It's probably sold out already. Just one of those, but I happen to have some left in my stash. And I just thought the colour went really well. It looks a little bit lighter than Bumblebee normally is. So I'm just going to put that round there. So... With ribbon tying, if you can see that, it's left over right and bring it under and then tie it together. And I want it right over this side as if you were tying a parcel and do it quite tightly, but make sure it's straight. And I want it just between the second row and the third row. Make sure you've got some slack there. It's always good to tie a bow off the reel so that then you don't waste ribbon. And in fact, looking at that, I'm going to be using, I don't need that much. So I'm just going to go back to here again. And I need to make sure that this bit turns under like that. That's up there. hope you can still see me. And then I put my little finger there to keep that grounded in place. And then I, I tie the bow from back to front, make a bow bring the back piece around to the front, tuck it underneath and just put your, it's my middle finger I use, to just pull it through there. See if I can get it round. Uh, there we go. Just coming through here. 
and then tie it like that. And then you, what we call, play with the bow to make sure you've got it exactly how you want it. So I want to pull it quite tight. I don't want the these bits to be too large. So that's just nice. And then if I just take my paper snips and just make that into a nice little bow there. Pull this bit down a bit because I want that out of the way. And then trim your bow. So I'm going to trim this piece like that. And then this piece like this to mirror image it as it were. There we go. And then this will stick onto the... I've decided on this one to put a piece of Daffodil Delight. Now let me just make sure that this is straight. That's really important. And I'm going to put some Tombow on the back. Trusted Tombow as I call it. And that's going to stick on there. Just to give a little bit of bling so it makes the card pop a bit. And then I find that it looks quite nice if you have dimensionals behind this piece. So I'm just going to cut some dimensionals. Um, these are the leftovers of the side of the pack, which is obviously it's good to use up what you've got. I meant to get a new pack out so that it wouldn't look messy, but do you know what? Nobody's going to see the other side of the card, so that's okay. Um, right, let's see what we've got here. One there. One in the middle and one there. Okay, so that's okay. That's that bit done. So I'm just going to take the backs off these dimensionals without hopefully pulling them off. I have a little paper bin that I always have at the side of my desk there, you can see, which is really useful to put the back of my dimensionals in because like everybody else, I usually find they end up around the house. I found one on my slippers the other day. Can you believe it? And they end up upstairs in the bedroom and all sorts, so and in the bathroom as well. So my family are fairly patient about it. They don't complain. Right, so now I'm going to stick this on the front of the card like so. And hope that that's even. And I've already got my snail ready here. I'm going to put... So I've just, I'm going to put the snail on first. I've got dimensionals on the back of him. So this designer series paper is great because it has some snails and some mushrooms that you can just cut straight out of the designer series paper which is fab just take that little bit off there so i'm going to put i i wanted a piece of white just to make it stand out a bit and then i'll just get this this sense so i don't need any to stamp any sentiment because this was part of the designer series paper too so now i decide where do i want this to be do i want it there or do i want it up there i think probably i just want it on there so I'm actually going to put a few more dimensionals just behind here. Uh, just cut that up. One, two, and then just have a third piece here. Put that back over there. Take the backs off. Put them in the bin so I don't mess up my desk. And I'm going to put that there like that. And then I'm going to put the hello up like that and there's my card done and dusted so I hope you like it I guess I could put some embellishments on if I wanted to so let's do that just to give it a bit of extra bling and hopefully I've got some these are the holiday basic jewels which are really nice and they're carrying over into the next catalogue but also I think that we do have some real red rhinestones I, uh, here we go um, I can't remember if they're carrying over to the next catalogue or not, but I think in this case I'm going to use the real red rhinestones because I think they look a bit brighter. So I'm just going to get my Take Your Pick tool just to pick these off with. I You can use the spatula tip, but I'm just going to use the um, the pointed tip here, the, the bit that's like the pin pricking tool, as it were. Put one there. And then put one, and it, it really does make a difference to have bling on a card. I think I'll put one there um, and put these back so they're out of the way. There we go, and there we go, the finished card. So this is the one I've just made with the Snail Mail Designer Series paper. This is one with the Pampered Pets Designer Series paper. 
This is one with the um, butterfly dies that go with the butterfly brilliant bundle. And it's the Hydrangea Hill designer series paper. And this is the Love Always designer series paper. And I've cut the butterflies, die cut them out of the foil that matches that. So I hope you've enjoyed this video today and I hope you have a go at these cards. Bye.